welcome to DPS TV. Once again, I'm Andrew, and today I want to talk to you about a compact monitoring device that's designed to do one thing very well. Monitor your individual battery cell voltages to give you the best possible visibility over your battery plant. This device monitors 24 battery cells and reports voltage threshold alarms via SNMP to your SNMP manager, so you can take action before you suffer expensive battery damage or your sights go dark. It's called the Battery Voltage Monitor 48, or BVM for short, and let's take a look at it now. The back panel of the BVM is dominated by 24 analog inputs. This is designed with the 24 battery cells of a negative 48 VDC battery plant in mind, but many other configurations are also supported. You also get three temperature sensor probe inputs for monitoring battery temperature, plus three general purpose analog inputs. On the right side of the analog inputs is the LAN port for reporting alarms back to your SNMP manager or a team on master station. You also have a serial port and dual power inputs for extra reliability. The front panel has a pair of GMT fuses, status LEDs, and a craft port for initial unit configuration. If you've got a large network, You'll want to use your SNMP manager or team on master station to aggregate data from your BVM48 units and your other monitored devices. Your SNMP manager can even issue GET requests to retrieve the voltage of a particular battery cell on demand. If you only have a handful of sites to monitor, however, you can monitor a BVM directly using its built-in web interface. Just type its IP address into your web browser and log in. Once inside the web interface, you can check for threshold alarms, view the voltage of a particular cell, or even trend voltages over time. This is a handy way to monitor, and it's also a good way to provision the unit. You can also set up email notifications directly from the VVM, which can, of course, be used to send alerts directly to your cell phone. Now, consider that at a site where you need a BVM48, you probably have equipment that also needs to be monitored with an RTU. That's where integration with a NetGuardian 832A or 864A comes in. The BVM can be configured as a NetGuardian expansion device. The NetGuardian and the BVM become a single logical unit that can be monitored via one IP address. Speaking of alternate configurations, there's nothing that says that you have to use the BVM48 for monitoring battery cells at all. If you simply need a lot of general purpose analogs for monitoring environmental, fuel, water, or other external sensors, you can use the BVM as a high density analog monitoring solution. So tell me, could the BVM48 protect you against expensive battery damage and network downtime? If so, contact DPS today. If not, contact DPS and tell them what you do need. There's a reason why I've been introducing so many new products on DPS TV, and that's because perfect fit solutions are business as usual at DPS Telecom. The engineering team does this all the time, so it removes a lot of the delays, headaches, and cost that you normally associate with custom solutions. Call DPS at 1. 800-693-0351 or send email to sales at dpstele.com. You can also send Max Smith a fast message using the online form below. For DPS TV, this is Andrew signing off.